I going to take wood mounted stamps and turn them into cling mounts? I've got all the answers. Let me show you how. So the first thing I need to find out is do the stamps actually work? So I'm going to stamp these up in VersaFine Black Onyx ink and find out if they're even worth changing to a cling mount stamp. If the red rubber stamp is not stamping cleanly, you can try to clean off the stamp with stamp cleaner or even soap and water and try stamping again. The stamp could be too old and too dried out. So if there's still some flexibility in the rubber, then try a little glycerin on your finger and rub it into the stamp and let it sit. Wipe it off with a little bit of water after an hour or so, try stamping it again. If the quality of the stamp is just not there, you're gonna to have to ask yourself whether or not you even wanna bother because if you're not getting a good stamped image as it was mounted on a wood stamp, you're not gonna get a better image being a cling mount stamp. Both stamps worked fine, so I'm just gonna wipe off the ink with an Aqua Dry um, chamois I found in the car section at Walmart or Target and I'm just using water and I'm also going to use some um, stamp cleaner, water-based stamp cleaner and get whatever residual ink off. It's not necessary, but I like my stamps to be clean. The next step is to get the stamp off of the wood mount. Now, there's a couple different ways. First, test to see whether or not you can simply peel it off. I kind of go around and um, just get my finger up underneath there and just exert a little force. It came off beautifully. Now this one has um, a gray foam to it and um, it was really super flexible. So that worked out just fine. Let's try the football. That one worked out fine too but do stay tuned because I have quite a few that did not come off so easily and I'm going to show you what to do with that. Now I'm going to check to see how sticky the foam still is. Um, if you can put it on an acrylic block and just kind of flick it off with your fingernail, it's not sticky enough to stay. So we need to do something about that. And my first trial is going to be using Tombow Multi Liquid Glue. And I'm just gonna put some onto the rubber, uh, a thin layer, and go ahead and brush it across and let it dry. This glue can be used two ways. If you let it dry, it becomes tacky and repositionable. If you apply something on top of wet glue, it becomes permanent. The next step is to remove the sticker from the wood mount. And all I did was stick my finger up underneath there and pull it off. I just was careful to pull it off evenly. And then I'm just gonna apply it to the stamp. If your stamp is directional, make sure that your sticker matches your stamp so you know which way you're gonna stamp it in the future. And I go ahead and I do the exact same thing for the helmet. This one gave me a little bit of a fit and didn't want to come off so easily, but in the end I managed to peel it off. And we're just going to adhere that down to the stamp, same as the football. Once your sticker is dried to your stamp, go ahead and cut off any extra. I am using just an inexpensive pair of scissors. I didn't know how gooped up my scissors were gonna be. Um, it didn't end up being a problem and I end up later on using a really small fine tip uh, pair of scissors to get into some of the nooks and crannies of more intricate stamps. This was fine because it's a pretty simple design, but later on I do change it up. Now it's time to make the top of the sticker be able to stick to your acrylic block. And um, once again, for this one, I'm gonna use the Tombow Multi Mono Liquid Glue. I'm just using a makeup wedge and um, I've applied the glue to the makeup wedge so I got a thin coat. Um, remember that this is all an experiment at this point. I do figure out which I like best at the end of the video, but these are all options. If this is what you have, 
it will work. I would definitely do a little bit heavier um, application than what I'm doing. Maybe two thin applications would be a better choice. It's not that it doesn't work, it does, but I do find a better type of glue later in the video. Okay, so these are all done now. And as you can see, this is a laminated piece of um, cardstock that I use to catalog all of my stuff. And as you can see, they're not falling off at all. Um, I can peel them off. They're sticky enough, slap them on a acrylic block and there's no issue. They, you can't flip them off very easily. It's definitely worked. Same thing with this one. It works just fine. So if Tombow Multi Mono Liquid Glue is what you have, it will totally work as evidence this way. But keep watching because I'm going to show you something else. Now if you're lucky enough, your stamps will come off cleanly, the stickers will come off easily, and you're on the road to making a cling mount stamp. However, I did run into considerable issues. If you didn't see the Craft Hall Estate Sale, that video that I did, I'll link it up here. That way you can see some of the stamps that I bought. I got 63 wooden stamps. All of them were not salvageable. I have had to throw away a handful because I could not get them off the block. You could find that as a problem. Um, I do have a fix for most of it, but sometimes it just wasn't fixable. Um, the, the foam may get destroyed in the process. Well, I told you I don't like to spend money, so I had to find an easier, more affordable way uh, than the craft foam that is used to specifically, it's by Crafters Companion, uh, specifically for that process. Um, and I run into a couple of other problems. So let's go back to the video and let's see what's up next. I'm going to take you on a tour <laughs> of my house, one specific part of my house, to show you what I did next. Call me crazy, but yes, I'm sticking my stamps in the microwave for 10 seconds and I'm going to heat them up. Now the premise is that by heating up the wooden block you're going to loosen up that glue and make it sticky again. Just be careful when you remove them because they might be pretty hot. That wood does retain a lot of heat. Okay now I'm going to remove all of the stamps by prying them off. That first one was pretty hot so I'm leaving it go and this one has black foam although it came off fairly good. Um, the rest of them have gray foam and come off quite easily and then I go back to that first one. That one was stubborn and I ended up having to use a Cricut spatula to pry it off of the block so that's also an option for you is to use one of those little spatulas to pry it if you can't get it off. But you can see there's a lot of residue left behind from that foam. Since there's a lot of residue left on the block, the top of the stamp is going to be kind of lumpy and bumpy. And one, is not going to affix the sticker very nicely. And two, probably won't hold onto the acrylic block very well either. At this point, I'm using the wide tip. This is a dual tip um, glue dispenser and I'm using the wide tip to put the glue directly onto the foam uh, as opposed to using the little makeup sponge. I felt that the makeup sponge just kind of was an extra step I didn't need at this particular point. It comes in handy, just not for this. Now I ultimately end up using this and found I like it best. It's Stick and Restick by Aileen's, but it could be under another name called Tack It Over and Over. That's the older version. The newer bottle says Stick and Restick, but it's the exact same glue. This glue doesn't have an applicator, so you just pour it directly onto the stick the top of your sticker and smooth it out with something. You could use your finger. I'm just using a makeup sponge that I'm holding with a little clamp and smoothing it out. It does give a thicker coating, which I actually like better for the repositionable part. If you decide to go the route of something like 
stick and restick, then you would also need a second glue um, just because this is solely repositionable. You would need something to adhere your sticker permanently to your stamp. Remember those problems I was talking about? Here we go. I removed the stamp from the block, but as you can see, a lot of the black foam was left behind. I truly believe that the stamps with the black foam predate the stamps with the gray foam. <clears throat> and there's no sticker. Now what do you do? So I dug into my Cricut stash and found a piece of Oracle. This is the outdoor permanent vinyl and it's just a scrap. And I'm gonna use Stazon ink and I'm gonna go ahead and stamp this down onto the vinyl to create a sticker for it. The, the Oracle vinyl has um, adhesive on the back of it, so I thought that would kind of be a good um, base for the sticker. And because it's got a color, I'd actually see it on that black foam. Heat transfer vinyl would not be a good option for this, but I was thinking that Potentially an adhesive shelf liner, maybe in white would work. I, I don't know about the texture because I don't have any, but it's a good possibility. You could try that if you didn't have something like permanent vinyl. If you have not taken your stamp off of your wooden block, make sure that you clean it with a permanent ink cleaner like stays on ink cleaner because otherwise you will end up with black permanent ink all over you. Ask me how I know that. Go ahead and remove your stamp from your block at this point. And like I said, mine is very lumpy and bumpy. You do want to make sure that your ink is completely dry on your vinyl. It does stay wet a little while and it will end up on your fingers and smudged on the sticker if you don't. At this point, you're going to want to go ahead and cut your stamped image out of your vinyl. Now, I did have a thought. If you don't have vinyl, but you have a Xyron, you could certainly stamp your image onto copy paper and run it through a Xyron. That would be thin enough that it could be like the sticker on the top uh, and possibly work quite well. If you try that, let me know in the comments below. I've removed the carrier sheet from the sticky part of my vinyl and I am just checking to make sure that I've got the words the right direction and I'm going to go in and adhere that to my uh, stamp, to the foam side of the stamp. This foam was really quite sticky so I did not add additional adhesive but you certainly could and then I'm just putting an acrylic block on top to make sure that it adheres firmly to the foam. I found my scrapbook.com four inch precision craft scissors to be the absolute best at getting into all of the nooks and crannies on my stickers. Um, if you're interested, at the time of taping, these scissors were on sale for an incredible discount. Go check it out. I'll link them all below. Anything that I use in my video, I'll try to link below. If you shop with my links, it is at no additional cost to you. It just provides me a small commission. Um, but scrapbook.com also offers free items when you purchase stuff. So check the coupon section as well to make sure that you're getting your freebies. So there's a whole nother problem that you can encounter when converting your wood mount stamps to cling mount stamps. And that is the rubber separating from the foam on the wood mount. So a regular polymer stamp, if you're using a stamp platform, you would use the mouse pad inside and that provides that cushion. Well, your wood stamps, typically have that cushion as well. You see the gray foam there? Um, and sometimes, especially if it's the black foam I've noticed, the foam is old, brittle, and comes apart. So what do you do? So there's a couple different types of glue that you can use to reattach foam. Now that foam that is on the stamp may not be salvageable and you may have to replace that as well. That can be a costly venture. There is a product just like the gray foam on these blocks by Crafters Companion. And I will link that for you if I can find it, but I know it's by Crafters Companion. Um, and it's very similar. 
but it's expensive, okay? I no longer work, I'm retired, so I need to conserve money where I can, and I needed to come up with a viable option. So one, I needed a glue that would attach to rubber, and two, I needed new foam. So here's what I discovered. You can use rubber cement, so if you have that, that will work. You can also use E6000. I'm sure it will work. However, mine is glued shut and completely useless. So then I thought, well, what else do I have in my stash here at home that I can use? <laughs> and you're never gonna believe. This is why you gotta look around your house to see what you've got. I used shoe goo. <laughs> so shoe goo repairs your shoe when your sole comes apart from your shoe. And um, I had just done a pair for my son to fix his shoes for work. And um, well, guess what? It's a rubber sole. So of course it's gonna work. So if you have rubber cement, great. E6000 will work, shoe goo will work. Whatever you got. Okay, so that takes care of how do I attach the rubber to the foam? But how do I replace the foam? Well, Crafter's Companion is one option, and I'm sure it's a wonderful product. I just couldn't afford it. So off to Walmart I went, and I bought, these are Hello Hobby, I guess that's their brand, adhesive foam sheets. They're probably nine by 11, I think. And they are, the foam on your um, stamp is about a quarter of an inch. It doesn't matter. This is about an eighth. Okay, so you could stack it if you wanted to. I didn't find that was really necessary. So here on the right, you'll see the foam that is detached and separated from the left, which is the rubber stamp part. Now we're going to make new foam for it. Now you want your adhesive side facing up. So the paper of the foam needs to be facing you and you're gonna trace around your stamp. Your stamp needs to face up as well. Um, that way the image will adhere to the back side of your stamp properly. As you're gonna see, I actually cut this out twice. The first time was the foam side up, which is wrong. The second time is adhesive side up, which is correct. So I went ahead and I matched it up to the back and I'm going to adhere that. Next up, I removed the adhesive backing to my foam and then using my shoe goo or whatever type of adhesive you choose to use, I applied that directly to the, the back of the rubber stamp and uh, just to keep my hands out of it, I'm using some tweezers. And then I'm gonna go ahead and adhere that to my foam. Now this foam is pretty sticky, and of course I dropped it. Um, but I don't think it was sticky enough to adhere the rubber to the foam well enough for stamping consistently, so. Now this particular stamp also had a stamped image on the wood block, so no sticker. So I need to create a sticker for this one as well and it works exactly the same way. I'm gonna stamp it out with Stazon onto my vinyl. Again, that's Oracle Permanent Vinyl. And then I'm gonna cut it out and adhere it the same way. And this is the finished product. There you have it, all my very best tips on how to convert wood mount stamps to cling mount stamps. If there happens to be a question that you have that I didn't answer, please make sure that you comment below and I will get back to you. I try to answer everybody's comments. In fact, this video is directly because you asked for it. So let me know if there's anything else that you're looking for out of my video content and I will certainly try to get to a video for that. In the meantime, continue to beat those summertime blues. I know it's hot out there. Um, I am continuing to work on Kendra's card challenge number 11. Um, I'm working on the video for additional cards from that series. And uh, I'll see you real soon. Thanks for watching.